So here we have a binary counter I made. Um, so basically we have a little circuit right here which um, when you try to um, input to the system you just uh, shove that block forward and then this um, signal right here can power that um, block basically creating a signal um, and that would only happen every um, like every six um, wire wall ticks basically so it would make sure that your inputs are aligned with the uh, wire wall um, ticks so it can only input every sixth wire wall tick so the yeah, input offset is basically aligned with um, um, how these latches right here um, are set up so yeah if I would turn this clock on as you can see it inputs and the first bit right here turns on so this wire this part of the wire is only here um, to always power this redstone line when when the clock is turned on so basically converting a wire world um, on latch into regular redstone on signal um, so yeah if we would now power it once more it would carry to the second bit now if we power it once more oh I fell um, the first bit turns on again as well and if we power it again it carries on to the third bit so yeah just a, a regular binary counter pretty much but then done with wire world logic instead of redstone logic um, so yeah it's one I uh, came up with myself I'm fairly happy with it it's not too big um, and it has a fairly fast clock as well which I think is positive <laughs> I'm not certain because it's fairly difficult to find uh, much information about wire world things um, but yeah and now if we press it once more it will carry all the way um, to well what would be the fourth bit but we have no fourth bit so yeah um, it's basically just a flip flop with a falling edge um, connected to it and then three of those uh, together and yeah this this little circuit is just for keeping the input aligned basically at the right frequency um, so if we turn off the clock or actually let's not turn it off but just slow it down a lot uh, we can see uh, what's happening a bit better so if I power this it will send a signal there basically turning off the old signal and it will send a signal right here that um, goes into the latch and starts latch up again um, then I'm just going to disconnect this for a second so we don't have to pay attention to that um, now if the second signal comes in again this clock is here to basically align it um, together with this clock so you always input at the correct time um, so now this signal come around and basically block off that clock and then this yeah the clock would still block off this signal that was going to come in here because if it did not block that signal it would just turn the um, latch on again right after it turned itself off so that's why we needed to block that signal um, so that's basically um, how did the flip-flop uh, aspect of it works and then for the falling edge um, well you can look at the flip-flop once more here so for the falling edge uh, we have this circuit where the signal travels right here and tries to uh, continue on here into that direction but then this um, signal here uh, cycle earlier um, is sent as well which blocks off the, um, the signal from passing through as this spot has um, basically four cells surrounding it that are on so it's uh, yeah overcrowded by quite a bit 
Um, but now, if we would turn that cell off again, it would first stop giving signals uh, here before it stops giving signals there. Which means that this last signal can just continue straight on and carry into the second bit. And yeah, that's basically um, how these things work. Um, the fastest you can input to this thing is um, every two of these game, um, or I mean wire worlds, hmm, not sure, Th these cycles anyways. So every two times um, it does one uh, circle here you can uh, input this, so it's reasonably fast at least. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I might try to make some other logic in wire world as well. If I do, I will uh, make a video of it. Um, because I think this is uh, pretty cool. It's a bit, uh, well, it's just a bit different from uh, regular redstone. So, yeah, if you want to mess around with this yourself, you can just uh, download the world and have a go at it. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, and see you all later. Bye!